Okay, in this video I'm going to talk about congruent triangles. Okay, the first thing that I want to talk about is what happens if we know, for example, that triangle ABC is congruent to triangle DEF. Okay, it doesn't matter what the picture is. I know that side AB is going to be congruent to the side that's located in the same position. AB would be DE. Side BC is then going to be congruent to EF. And side AC is going to be congruent to side DF. Okay? So those are the, the three congruent statements related to sides. Now, related to angles, I know that angle A is going to be congruent to angle D because they're in the same location. Angle B congruent to angle E. Angle C congruent to angle F. Those are the six congruent statements, three sides to three sides, three angles to three angles, that I can make from every congruent statement with triangles. From this, these six congruent statements, then, I can draw triangles that are congruent, all right? Um, now, note that my pictures really don't matter, but I'm just going to draw two pictures, and I'm going to label this triangle A, this part B, and this part C. Okay, now, my parts have to be located the same way. So, angle A is congruent to angle D, so I'm going to make this angle D. Angle B, then, is congruent to angle E. Angle C, then, is congruent to angle F. Now, let's mark up the parts that we know. I know side AB is congruent to DE. So, AB and DE. I'll make one hash mark there. All right, BC is congruent to, D, uh, to EF. Now, these two sides aren't the same, so I mark them with different hash marks. Okay, they may look the same, but they're not unless it tells us they are. And then BC is EF, so we'll mark that with two. Then I also know that AC is congruent to DF, so we'll put three hash marks on both of those. Now, likewise, I can mark angles. Now, angles sometimes are shown different ways, so typically I will do just the one little mark. Sometimes books will do two, two angle kind of things or one angle kind of thing just to show that they're the same, but I like to put the little mark there. Then angle B is congruent to angle E. Angle C is congruent to angle F. Now, what I was talking about there was, for example, sometimes they use that as opposed to using the two hash marks. But that is the six congruent statements and the pictures that can be drawn as a result.